When we're counting to 120 with the standard 1 MBT1, oftentimes students struggle from moving from one decade number to the next. So here we have 10, and then we have 19. 19 going to that next decade, 20. 20, here's another example, 29 to 30. A lot of students struggle until they see that pattern. So when we think of this in ones and tens, or tens and ones, it's a lot easier for students to be more successful with when they write, and they have a less chance of reversing that place value. So if we have 110, 9, 210, 210, 1, 210, 2, 210, 3, 210, 4, 210, 5. Here we have 210, 9, 310. And having students write this out is really helpful and using that language, 310, 1, 310, 2. So let's go ahead and have students write it. 310, 1, and say it out loud. 310, 2, 310, 3, 310, 4, 310, 5, 310, 6. 310, 7, 310, 8, 310, 9, 410. And then we keep with our pattern 410, 1, 410, 2, 410, 3, and so forth. When students get all the way down here to 410, 9, then they can transition to 510s a lot easier. And having this visual representation as students are doing this is very, very important. This is key for a foundational level for understanding this, all right? So once students understand this pattern, it gets a little tricky when we're in to our hundreds. So we can do the same concept, 9101, 9102, 9103, and I would have this out here. Nine ten one, nine ten two, nine ten three, nine ten four, nine ten five. I would have the have that visual and have the students uh, say it as well and write it. Nine ten four, nine ten five, nine ten six, nine ten seven, nine ten eight, nine ten nine, and they love this last one. Nine ten nine. Some students say a hundred, and then some students say. 9, 10, 9, 10, 10s, 10, 10s, and they question themselves. And we're right, yes, 10, 10s, and that is how we write it. So we have 4, 10s, 5, 10s. Let's write 10, 10s, and 10, 10s is the same as 100. So we're going to um, focus on that piece right there. We know we have 10, 10s, 1, 10 tens, two, but we usually don't say 10 tens, one, 10 tens, two, but that is the pattern here. And, and writing this out in like a choral count activity, students are able to see this pattern. And then they continue maybe with 103, 104, 100, whoops, 105. Again, they're saying it as they write it. 106. 107, and we want to be careful with the and because we a lot of people will use and for the decimal, so we kind of try and keep that out. 108 with our whole numbers, 109, and this is where it gets sticky. So this is a great chance for a conversation about you have um, 109, and then we're going to do 110. There's that 100. 10. You could even do that 103, 104, 105, 106. There's no tens here. 107. We want students to see the patterns. That's what this whole thing is about. 110, 100. There's our 111, 112, 113, 114, 100. 15. And the students continue until they do get to 120. Now, when we did uh, originally, when we counted 11, 12, we would write as 110, 1, 110, 2, 110, 3, 110, 4, 110, 5, 110, 6, 110, 7, because this area is very tricky when students are learning their teen numbers. But by the time they've understood the pattern and they're getting to this point, 
we probably don't need to have that 110, 1, 110, 2, 110, 3. And if they do, then we need to go back up to working with just these numbers from 1 to 20 to make sure that you really truly understand that. All right, so that is uh, one entry way of counting to 120 and writing your number numbers to 120. All right, enjoy.